Hi, Cup of Tea Quilters. This is Teresa here with month number seven of our Lazy Angle block. So let's get started. Okay, here is the pattern for month seven. This will be a four color block. It's called the Shadow Box block. And here is a finished block in my patriotic colors. So you'll have a focal block in the middle and then a little block around the outside, which is my tan. And then some two other designs for the background. Okay, magic of video, we now have our block A, which is color one, sewn to color number two, which is a right B. So now we're on step number two. So what we have to do is sew a left B, which is color number three, in this case, Debbie's is green. It's pointing to the left, so it's a left B. So we need to make this shape a left shape. In order to do that, we turn it upside down and we look at the drawing, make it match. U means upside down. So here's my right B. So I need to recut this to an A and I'm lining up the dotted line. That's my stitching line, cutting off a new B shape. So now my A is pointing to the left so that I can add the next B. So when I flip this over, so when I flip this over, I want to have a little bit of a dog ear on this side, and I'm going to have a little bit of a dog ear right there on that side. So I'm going to bring it over to the machine. On oh, my little, my little Raven 301 over here. So on my quarter of an inch. So now I will iron this open or finger press it. There we go. So this is, that was step number two. So now we'll just keep going. Step number three, you should now have a three color block, which we do with pointing to the bottom right corner. So we're gonna flip this around, although they're looking at it. I guess I'll do it this way. And now we are gonna add color number four. And this is going to end up, this is what the finished block looks like right here. So this is gonna end up, you can't do it upside down. It's gonna end up, how is this going? We need to redo this. All right, we are now on step three. So we kind of had a glitch, but we're gonna work it out. This is, the block that we just sewed, we had three colors to it. Looks like that. So we are flipping it over upside down according to the directions. And we are cutting this to a left A because we have a left B to add to it. This is color number four. So we're going to line this up on the six and a half and whoosh, look at that, it's cut. So now left B to our left A. Again, we're going to flip it over and line it up. And sometimes you'll have a little dog ear up top that you can kind of line that up with. And then this is our last step. And you're going to do this four times. show you a couple different options for your color choices. Those are just my leader and enders starting. So this is the block that we're making right here. So now, depending on how you organize these, Debbie's got this funky shape. I don't know what, kind of like a color wash shape. Looks like watercolor paint. She's got that in the center. Ooh, and then it makes this kind of fun little block, but I think a lot of that you're gonna lose. But another option is to twist it around and put this blue in the middle. So you have two different choices to do with this block. 
I mean, you can keep doing more, but this is the, the shadow box block that we're doing. That's not it. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty, so that's our block number seven. We'll see you next time for block number eight.